Hi guys, I'm Sarah from One I Know, and welcome to my daylight clock counting tutorial guide. So it's more of a guide than a tutorial, guys, because it's fairly easy build. It's just the counting of the redstone and how long it's supposed to. Okay, guys, let me start from the start. This is my daylight counter I'm working on at the moment, guys. It's by far not finished yet, but as you can see, when the sun comes up, the basic concept is it will start to power up. So there you go, there's two, and it will go up. As the sun gets higher and higher, the lights will go up and up, if that makes any sense. It will come to this point here, which is almost midday. So I've worked it out perfectly, guys. So this is the part that um, was quite frustrating, was trying to time it correctly. As you can see, there's no lights here. You're probably wondering why. That's why. So when the redstone runs out of charge, it barely will light the next block. And as the sun goes up more and more, more of these will light up. I'm still kind of working on it at the moment, guys. What I really want to do is turn this into a digital clock. So this will be the mechanics behind it. So guys, when it's midday, it will uh, it'll light up the, the very last block, which is over here. Now this was the hardest one to do. Uh, because I had to use two daylight sensors. One that barely has enough energy to charge anything, and one that has just a tiny bit of charge near that repeater. Just enough. You can see it's cooking right there on this square here. And when it's midday, and only at midday, will it be the sun at its hottest. And therefore, charging this right up to that block. And this block here is the most important one because it will indicate midday. Telling you you're very safe at this time. Um, you're in the middle of the in the safe zone right there. Okay, guys, there it is. It's on, so it's midday, and that's how it's done. And as you can see, the sun's almost at dead center. And so when the sun goes away from that center and it starts coming back down, the same process will start to occur. They will start to lose their strength, and the lights will go down one by one letting you know it's getting dangerous and dark time. So guys, um, yeah, this was a really fun build and I'm going to be working on this uh, for the next few days. Um, let's just watch the sun go down real quick and I'll show you how it looks going backwards. As you can see, the light has just gone out here, so I'm going to make this a green, just to show, it. I'm going to have a sign here, I'm just going to put it down real quick, just to give a rough idea, this is not the final build guys, so this isn't a full on tutorial, I'm going to write midday here, so this is to indicate midday, okay, that makes sense, yep, alright guys, so I'll use the green wheel, the wool. Okay, now that's off, so it's less than midday now, guys, so um, I actually would like to do this in a digital clock format, which I haven't even began to build yet, guys, so this is just a prototype um, to keep the actual time. So I'm going to change the color here into more of a amber and a yellow to let you know that it's getting dangerous. You better start thinking about coming back home from your journeys. So that's what I'll do here. And this wall here will indicate very dangerous time. Better get your butt back home. That's what this one means here. So you can do anything, guys. You can use any colors, any words, any ideas. But um, this is not the final product. Like I said, this will look like an actual digital clock in the end. You won't see any of this redstone stuff and all that. Uh, I've seen digital clocks out there, guys, and they're so complicated. I seriously, all I want to do is make a simple one. I would like to make it less complicated. I'm, I was sure there was another way. There is another way. Um, trust me, guys, I've been working for the last two days trying to figure out another way. This is the best way to record accurate time. I've tried hoppers and counters, and they're just not accurate, guys. Not enough. A 10-minute day cycle, it just isn't really even possible. 
I can get it up to five minute counting perfectly, but yeah, what's five minutes, guys? So, as you can see, the wool color is changing color in its strength and its warning. Uh, you know, it's it's saying you're screwed at this point here. It's like if you're not home now, you're dead. You're probably gonna die. Um, so this is around the time when you want to get inside, guys. And no, the zombies aren't out yet. It's just the beginning. It is just the beginning of night time. It's not fully night time yet. So, you can see the sun going down. You can see the lights coming off. This is great. I love it. And this beast here, guys, that's the one that lets you know you're dead. Because it's going to be zombie time. Actually, that's what I should call it. Um, all right, guys, so it's going down. It's going down. It is now officially... I should write almost night time. <laughs> it's not quite night time. I'll tell you guys when it's fully night. So that's the last one. This is getting quite cool. Okay, let's go to the dead beacon. This is going to let you know it's zombie time and that you're going to die unless you're safe. And the moon's up. It is at its peak of... You could call it night time. Right about... Right about... Let's just dress this up a little bit. Make it look nice while we're waiting, guys. This is a very simple build too, guys. I'll show you how it's done. But watch this, ready? Any second now. Any second now. Any second now, guys. Oh my god, there we go! And it flashes and it lets you know you're dead or you're safe in your home. So when that's flashing, don't go out at night because you'll get killed by monsters and zombies. So this is a very cool thing, guys. You can build this in survival and you can totally protect yourself uh, with these warning lights. You can have them in the mountain top in the distance and you can be like, oh, oh I better get back! And um, it's very cool. So if you want to know how this is built, I'll show you real quick, but this is not the final build, so don't worry. This is just a slap bang together. I know it doesn't look very good, guys, but I haven't even began on this idea yet. So let's go to sleep real quick and uh, bring the sun back up and let's see how this acts in reverse. Okay, so that will stay on or off. Tomorrow night it'll be off. These ones come back on straight away, letting you know it's daytime, it's morning time, and it's safe to go out and gather your things. Say it may be sugar. It's waking time, okay? And this is safe time here. So now you've got all day to go out and gather your items and not be afraid. And see this bridge here? I didn't really like it, but you can change the length. As long as you count these, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Make sure you got 11 here going backwards and make it go around and around. And you can bring all that closer over to the here on top even if you want. You can do it any way you want, guys. I'm going to do a digital clock version using lamps. Um, it's going to be very complex and it might not be until next week, guys. It's going to be huge. So this is easy. This is make it in reverse. Break that, break that, build that, build that. And there you have it, guys. All it is is just... A sensor. Okay, on top of a, any block of choice, it really doesn't matter. Um, you put lamps around it like that, and you cover it up. It will look like this. Let's build it real quick. This is all I did. Actually, a buddy of mine made this while he was here watching me do the other one. And he went away and I looked at it and thought, freaking awesome, sick, I'm totally going to do that. And it worked really well. So this is your actual um, alert. So you put your sensor here. You can build it just like that if you want as long as it's covered up, but I like it a little bigger. So guys, put that there and put your lamps around like this. And if it's daytime right now, which it is, um, it's just gonna stay on until the night time, but that's all right. Okay, let's put that on top. So after the first night, it will flash and then it'll be off again. So it'll work out, guys. And that's how that's done so far. And as you can see here, it's all the way past midday, I think strength is charged it all the way up and there you have it guys oh yeah this is my previous build of this idea and it is way more complex and stupid and ugly and just chaotic and just not working this is a four minute timer a five minute timer actually and that goes off every five minutes turning that light on this one's every four minutes guys and it will turn this light on and that's every three minutes and two minutes and one minute and the idea here was to keep time throughout the day, and as you can see, this is stupid. And this is my design, it's just bulky, stupid, and I didn't like it at all. So I ended up doing this idea instead, which is so much more simple. Keeps the time exactly every single time. You can rely on these blocks working 
every single time it hits that peak. So therefore it's a very accurate, the most accurate time in Minecraft. And I will build off this next week making a digital clock alarm clock. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new tutorial. And I'm out, and I'm out, and I'm out.